Hello and welcome to Words You Need, Block 3, Lesson 3. Block 3 – это для тех, кто уже неплохо говорят по-английски, но хотят реально владеть языком. In this lesson, we have words 101 to 150. So, let's go! Word number 101. Тебе следует прикрыть голову. Как будет прикрыть по-английски? You should cover your head. Cover. Don't say cover. Cover. No, cover. K -k. We need a lot of aspiration. That's придыхание. Aspiration. K -k. Cover. And the uh is short. It's not cover. It's cover. K -k. Cover. Cover. You should cover your head. Cover. Another sentence. Ты весь в грязи. Ты весь в грязи. We say, you are covered in mud. Covered in mud. What else can you be covered in? Let's have a look. Covered in blood. His hands were covered in blood. The road was covered in snow. The box was covered in dust. That's пыль. Uh, you're covered in sweat. Вес потный. Covered in sweat. So, this covered in, it's a useful phrase. Remember it. Covered in. Covered in. Cover is also обложка. Who is on the cover of Vogue magazine this month? On the cover. На обложке. And чехол can also be a cover. I bought a cover for my motorbike. So we could call it a motorbike cover. And what other covers are there? Let's have a very quick look. So nouns before... Cover. It's an important word. I want to spend time on it. Ah, we often talk about cloud cover. Um, there was cloud cover all afternoon. That means that clouds covered the sky all afternoon. The ice cover has decreased in the last 20 years. So the ice cover, that doesn't mean something covers the ice. That means that the ice covers something. So it's a bit confusing with cover. A motorbike cover covers the bike. But ice cover is when ice covers the ground. Um, so the ice cover in Greenland is decreasing, for example. Or we can also talk here about forest cover, for example. Uh, the forest cover has increased since 2000. That means more of the ground is covered by forest. So, covered, covers. The cover I talk about the most is probably my phone cover. I need a new phone cover. Or, I need a new screen cover. For my phone, a screen cover. Cover, very important word. One more sentence. Они обнаружили кое-какие новые улики. They uncovered some new evidence. So to uncover is to find something. Обнаружить. To uncover. Okay. Next word. Я родом из Шотландии. Beginning with O. What can we say? Родом из. You can say... I am originally from Scotland. Don't say Scotland, say Scotland. Scot Scotland. I am originally from Scotland. Although Scottish people say Scotland. And that's why um, the Scottish accent, the Scottish, is actually the closest to a Russian accent in English because they say or oh, Scotland, Scottish, or. Oh. 
In England, we say Scot, Scotland. And Americans say Scotland, Scotland. Anyway, rodem is ja, I'm originally, originally. Try to hold the r, originally, originally. Okay, next word. Я занял второе место в своей возрастной группе и пятнадцатое в общем зачете. So this is a word for в общем зачете. I got second place in my age group and fifteenth place overall. So this word overall means в общем зачете. Overall. Overall. Another interesting use of this word. She was wearing blue overalls. So overalls is like rabochi kombinzon, something like that. So uh, because they go over all your clothes. So if you need to wear something to do dirty work, you can put on overalls, which cover all your clothes, which go over all your clothes. Overalls, um, or Overall. Next word. Musica at a velika strast. My jizne. What is strast in English? Strast begins with p. Music is the great passion of my life. Let's see what passions people have. We use this phrase a passion for. A passion for... See, the first one is... He has a passion for music. She has a passion for art. I have a passion for learning. We have a passion for food. So, passion. It's about stressed. Passion. Try to make the A very short. Passion. Passion. And there is also an adverb on strasna vlublion. He is passionately in love. Passionately. We also use the phrase um, passionate about. It's a bit like a passion for. So you can be passionate she is passionate about music and passionate about education. Passionate. Passion. Okay, next one. 105. You need this word in England. In America, they say gas. I need some gas for my car. Or maybe my truck. But in England, it's... I need some more petrol for my car. Petrol. Pet, pet, pet. Very short air. Petrol. Petrol. Um, usually, I need unleaded petrol. Uh, it's something about plomba. Lead is plomba, I think. So, I need unleaded petrol. It's unleaded. Unleaded petrol. All right, the next one. 160 мне кое-кого напоминаешь. Напоминаешь. You, r -r -r -r, you know this word. You remind me of someone. Напоминаешь. Reminds me of someone. It reminds me of a place. It reminds me of a person. Reminds me. And on your phone, you can... Set напоминание. What is напоминание? I will set a reminder. And when you say remind, reminder, try to hold the n. Remind. Reminder. Remind. Reminder. There's lots of n in it. Reminder. Remind me. We often say, oh, oh, remind me later. Remind me. Remind me. Okay. 107. Brighton popularni курорт на южном побережье Англии. Курорт. What's a курорт in English? 
Brighton is a popular resort on the south coast of England. Resort. It's a long or resort. But don't pronounce the r. Resort. Two sounds. Resort. The second sound is weaker. Resort. Resort. Zort. Try to say it like me. Resort. 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 Okay. Uh, 108. Nikto nie atkliknulsa na moj priziv a pomoši. Nikto nie atkliknulsa. Nobody responded to my call for help. Say so respond. Responded to my. Let's see what we get. Responded to my call. Responded to my question. Responded to my request. Responded to my comments. There was no response. Nobody responded. Now, пострадавший не реагировал, когда приехала скорая помощь. Here we need an adjective. Если кто-то не реагировал, what's the adjective? The victim was unresponsive when the ambulance arrived. So if somebody is responsive, it means they react. If they are unresponsive, they don't react. They don't respond in any way. And I want to talk about the difference between to reply, to respond. So reply is always with words. But respond can be anything. So it can be a gesture. It can be an action. Um, but it can also be words. So respond is a, a broader word than reply. Reply with words, respond in many different ways. Okay. У нас на кухне есть круглый стол. Р. I think I think you know this word. We have a round table in our kitchen. It's round. Maybe you know about King Arthur. King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. And what other things are often round? Round with nouns. Oops. We often talk about... Uh... Ah, a round trip. That's a good one. It was a round trip. A round trip is a journey there and back. Today Bratna is a round trip. We made a round trip because we finished where we started. So, a round trip. He has a round face. So, round. Round. Round hole is here. You can't fit a square peg in a round hole. It's a good idiom where, you know, you if things don't fit, they don't fit. Um, and so if you, I don't know, employ somebody and they're totally the wrong person for the job, well, you can't fit a square peg in a round hole. It's not going to work. Right, next one. 110. Прочтите это заявление правительства. Заявление. Um, заявление is not always this word because заявление has many meanings. But in this case, заявление правительства... Read this statement from the government. So, заявление, it's not, когда я что-то хочу. Заявление is, когда я хочу что-то сказать. Вот это мое заявление, что я хочу сказать. It's what I want to say. So, statement. Read this official statement from the government. It's a very official word. And we also use this word for выписка. Каждый месяц я получаю выписку с банковского счета. I get a bank statement every month. A bank statement every month. And that is our first group of 10 words. So, if you like, it's time to press pause and practice. Or you can also continue listening. And I'm going to talk about 
another set of 10. 111. Et you theater to key Amelia. Mealy. Cute. I'm sure you know this one. Those ducklings are so cute. When you say cute, try to say cute, then a little pause, and then t. Cute. So cute. Cute. Nie cute. 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 Make it long. Cute. We also often say such a cute. Let's see what we can say. Such a cute with nouns. So, they are such a cute couple. You've got such a cute baby. Your baby is so cute. Such a cute baby. That's such a cute idea. Your idea is so cute. He's such a cute kid. He's so cute. Cute. Useful word. 112. Этот бриллиант стоил более 2000 долларов. Бриллиант. This diamond cost more than 2000 dollars. Maybe you know the song. Shine bright like a diamond. Bright like a diamond. Listen carefully. I'm sure she sings diamond and that n is is the long sound not diamond shine bright like a diamond i think it's the n you can check but i think it's the n diamond diamond make the n long this diamond diamond cost more than $2000 diamond 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 Okay, next. Пожалуйста, извините мое невежество. Извините. You definitely know this word. Please excuse my ignorance. What else do we say with excuse? Excuse my... Excuse my... Excuse my... We very often say... Excuse my language. Извините за выражение. Excuse my language. And sometimes, as a joke, we say, Excuse my French. Of course, it's not really a French word. We want to use a bad English word, a rude English word. But we say, Excuse my French. <laughs> and you can see, Excuse my ignorance here as well. Извините. Or, Excuse my appearance. So it's a way of saying sorry for something. Please excuse my da da da. There is another word. It's very close. Чем вы оправдываете свою плохую работу? So when we talk about оправдание or отмазки, we use this word. What is your excuse for your poor performance? Your excuse. So look at the difference. The verb to excuse, we have z at the end. But the big difference is not the z and the s in excuse. It's the vowel. Because when we say excuse, we have a full oo vowel with a lot of w before the z. So to excuse, we say ex. Let's say ex. Z. But excuse, we say excuse, pause, sir. Excuse, excuse, excuse. So the vowel is much shorter before the sir. An excuse. What sorts of excuses? Uh, let's have a look. Something excuse. A good excuse. A lame. 
That's a lame excuse. Like, это плохое оправдание от Маска. That's a lame excuse. That's a perfect excuse for missing the lesson. That's a poor excuse for your failure. It's not a, not a good excuse. Well, that's a very convenient excuse for forgetting my birthday. Very convenient, but I don't, I don't like it. I, uh, also, we sometimes talk about... Uh, he's got a valid excuse. Um, the excuse is valid. Like a valid passport. So a valid... You can have a valid excuse as well. So excuse the verb. Excuse the noun. Excuse. Okay. 114. Существует разрыв между реальностью и вашими ожиданиями. There is a gap between reality and your expectations. So, expectations. But actually, I sometimes think maybe it would be better to learn the word gap. <laughs> gap. Because expectations, everybody knows about expectations. Try to remember gap. Gap. Gap between. Uh, okay, 115. Укажи на что-нибудь красное. Укажи. Point at something red. Point. And this is a very important word. And there are some things that I want to point out. Point. So what's a point? A point is... The, 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 the angle, what? Тот, um, та точка, в которую все идет, или к чему все ведет. Вот все ведет к этой точке. Вот это the point. The point. That's why we use it when somebody makes an argument. So they make an argument. Ну, к чему это все идет? What's your point? Чему ты идешь? What's the point? Um, or here, вот замечание тоже может быть a, a point. What somebody says this, 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 this to make a point. But I disagree with your first point. A point. We also often use the phrase no point. There's no point. Тебе не к чему не, при... не идет, не ведет. Ничего не получится. There's, there's no point. No point. There is no point asking him because he won't tell you anything. Нет смысла спрашивать его, потому что он вам не скажет. There's no point. Actually, I like this phrase. No point followed by an ing verb. No point. So what do we often say? There's no point trying that idea. There's no point trying. Нет смысла даже попробовать. Well, there's no point getting upset about it. Нет смысла расстраиваться. Good phrase. Well, there's no point arguing. Нет смысла ссориться. There's no point going there. It's mustlety. No point and then ing form of the verb. No point. And great word. Sporitz nim besmuslina. It's pointless to argue with him. Pointless. Pointless. And one more use of point. Use to wash it yet privately. We apologize at no each core. Вот очко is also a point. If your answer is correct, you get one point. I think this comes from the world of debating. Uh, for example, we're having a debate and I make a point to my opponent. And my opponent says, OK, I accept your point. You, you get the point. You get it. They mark it down. Okay, then they have another discussion. Okay, I get your point, etc. 
it's another point for you. And I think it moved from there into other things like sports. So you could get points in sports or points in a test. Uh, and it comes from this argument meaning, I think. Could be wrong. Anyway, points. Very important word. 116. Книга разделена на четыре раздела. Раздел. Beginning with с. The book is divided into four sections. This is a false friend with Russian because секция is not a section. So if your child goes to секции, не знаю, по карате, they are not karate sections. No. A section is, is, a, is a part of something, often a text, uh, and it's not a club for kids. My, my son does karate. He goes to karate training sessions. Um, he's in a karate club, but it's not sexy. So be careful with that word, with the word sections. Некоторые люди едят семечки подсолнечника. Семечки is, of course, seeds. Some people eat sunflower seeds. When we say seeds, try to make the y quite long. Seeds. Seeds. Because you don't want your seeds to sound like seats. Seeds. We have a lot of y. Seeds before the voiced d. But seats. Seats. It's very short before an unvoiced t. So seeds. Seats. Seeds. Seats. I don't know. There are seeds on the seats. Try to pronounce that sentence. Check that you make a clear difference between seeds and seats. Okay, 118. Oh, useful word this. Ее слова расстроили меня. Или даже обидели меня. Her words upset me. And I want to talk about the difference between... Her words upset me. Her words offended me. So, um, offense is an adult reaction. So kids don't get offended. Вот взрослые когда обижаются. You can say she got offended. Like don't don't get offended. Um, because offended is like. Um, you insulted my character. It's about your character. Uh, but so it's it's close to оскорбление. But when kids are bizarre, it's no, what ребенок обиделся. He he got upset. Don't upset your brother. Не обижай брата. So I would say that like детские обиды are upset, взрослые обиды are offended, and взрослые upset. She's really upset. Is like sad. So, if an adult is upset, ему грустно. It's like uh, грустно. Oops. But if a child is upset, it's like обиженный. Обиженный. Oh, my computer understands me. That's good. And if something was sad, we can say, of course, what happened was upsetting. Upsetting. Try to have a long sir. Upsetting. It was very upsetting. Okay, 119. С большим богатством приходит большая ответственность. Богатство. With great wealth comes great responsibility. Wealth. Long wa. Yeah, wealth. Uh, wealth. W w hold it. Wealth. Wealth. And его бабушка и дедушка богаты. Why isn't there a word for бабушка и дедушка in Russian? It's annoying, right? Родители, parents, а бабушка и дедушка. 
Where's that word? You need it. Anyway, in English we have grandparents. Great grandparents. His grandparents are wealthy. Wealthy. Well. Hold the word. Hold the word. Don't say wealth. Wealth. Wealthy. Wealthy. They're wealthy people. And number 120. Я не знаю, выставлен ли этот дом на продажу. I don't know whether the house is for sale. Of course, we, we can say, I don't know if the house is for sale. So, in this context, you can use if, you can use whether. They're synonyms, but. Я еще не решил, стоит ли ему помогать. In this context, I can't say, I haven't decided if to help him. It makes no sense. I must use the word whether. I haven't decided whether to help him. I wonder what... Uh, what other words? Decide whether to... Let's see what we get. Decided I need to decide whether to go to the beach or to the lake. I don't know. Um, we need to decide whether to take uh, this car or that car. We need to decide whether to accept their application or not. So, decide whether to. It's quite useful. Whether. Also a long word. Whether. Whether. Have you decided whether to continue with the project? Have you decided? Whether. Okay, that's all for this set of ten. And so, I will move on to the next set. Group three. Number 121. Вы можете забрать свой заказ в почтовом отделении. С почты. Забрать. What's забрать in English? Maybe you know the phrase of to pick up. But here we have one word. You can collect your order from the post office. To collect. You can collect your order and... Please collect your child before 6 p.m. We also use it for the bright ребенка, например, с детского сада. Collect your order, collect your child. And the noun, of course, is collection. Ваш заказ готов к отправке? К отправке? Ну, можно забрать, короче. Your order is ready for collection. I'm not sure if that's a perfect translation, but... It's ready for collection. You can come and collect it. Of course, collect has another meaning. Collectionirует. She collects stamps. Collects... It's hard to say that. Collects stamps. She collects stamps. Collects... Collects stamps. Cut-a-s-s-s-t-a. <laughs> it's hard. Collects stamps. Anyway, um, and he has a big stamp collection. Maybe you've noticed that in these lessons there are not a lot of words like this. Collection, collection. And that's because I removed them all. And this, this shouldn't be here. <laughs> collection, collection. At the end of the course, the last, I think it's 17 lessons, they are all... Words like collection, коллекция, where the Russian and the English have the same root, so they're, they're close. Um, but the first 62 lessons, the idea is that there are no pairs like this. But, you know, I missed one, so collection, коллекция. But if you want to find a lot of words which are close in English and Russian, you can find them at the end of the block. I think it's lessons 63 to lesson 80 are all these pairs. Anyway, uh... He is a stamp collector. When you say stamp, actually stamp, we say s-s-damp. We don't pronounce t with aspiration like we usually do. So we say, for example, 
tank, but stank. Tank, stank. Tank, stank, for example. Uh, next one. 122. This word is difficult to translate. So here we have Kakunyim Watch Bul Ochin Zachwatevoshim. The hockey match was very exciting. To be honest, excitement is about nervy. It's a word which describes nervy, and it's always positive. So if something has a positive effect on your nervnaya sistema, then it is exciting. So anything which gives you these, this positive nervous energy is exciting. And so that's why, yes, the match was exciting. Maybe to play in, maybe to watch. Because positive energy. Ooh. <laughs> um, we also use this word to talk about future events. Казалось, она не очень радовалась своему дню рождения. She didn't seem very excited about her birthday. So her birthday didn't give her this positive energy um, that some people get. So like, my son celebrated his birthday a few weeks ago. He was very excited about it. Before his birthday, he was, he had this positive energy, excited. He was excited about it. Ooh. And I don't think Russian has this word, which is a pity. It's a, it's a useful word. We use it a lot. Okay, word number one, two, three. В центре города есть hall. There is a hill in the center of town. Don't say hill. Hill. He, he. You need to open your mouth, put your tongue behind your bottom teeth. Hill. He, 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 he. Hill. If your mouth is closed, heel, 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 heel. No, hell. Hill. There is a hill in the centre of town. And we can say, Moy region Khalmisti. This is true for the region where I grew up. My region is hilly. Hilly, he, 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 hilly, open your mouth, hilly, hilly, it's very hilly. Okay. Pizage takoi krasivy. Pizage, beginning with L this time. The landscape is so beautiful. Beautiful landscape. Hills, valleys, rivers, forests, the landscape. Um, we also use the word landscape to talk about a piece of paper. If it's vertikalne polazhenye, it's portrait. And if it's horizontalne polazhenye, it's landscape. So your piece of paper can be portrait, landscape. Portrait, landscape. Or your phone camera. Next. 125. Вы слышали последние новости? Вот последние. Have you heard the latest news? What other words sometimes come after latest? Let's have a look. Latest. The latest. Ah. In his latest book, he talks about... Interesting, you can, you can do this. You can say he talks about in a book. I know it's weird. Um, this is the latest version of my app. Sami uh, Svierzy. Have you heard their latest album? I wanted it to be there. Uh, that's about music, obviously. According to the latest research... Latest... Последнее or сами свежие. It's a, it's a useful word. If you don't use it, you need to start using it. Latest. At at least с дуба. С дуба. С дуба. I guess дуба. <laughs> this leaf is from an oak tree. So it's leaf. 
leaf. You need to make the l long. Leaf. Leaf. Not leaf, but leaf. Leaf. And when you use uh, ah, and this word, we use it to talk about, you know, leaves of, on trees. We don't use it to talk about pieces of paper. So, list bumagia is not a leaf. It's a piece of paper. So, be careful. Leaves on trees, but pieces of paper. And it's one leaf, two leaves. So, the f changes to a v in the plural. One leaf, two leaves. Okay. Мой папа до сих пор каждый день получает, покупает газету. Газета in English, it's... My dad still gets a newspaper every day. What's interesting here, so news and newspaper. In news, the S is pronounced Z, so you get new... Woo -woo 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 Z. But when we say newspaper, it's very short oo. Paper, newspaper, 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 newspaper. So the vowel in news and the vowel in newspaper sound very different. News, newspaper, news, newspaper. I would even make it maybe a bit kind of smaller like that. Newspaper, newspaper. Okay, number 128. Мне нравится узор на твоём платье. Узор. I love the pattern on your dress. This word pattern, pa, pa, smile, pattern, pattern, it's useful, pattern, because we don't only use it to talk about узор на платье. You can talk about um, patterns of thought, anything which is repeated. He thinks like that again and again and again and again. Or patterns of speech, when people speak like that again and again and again. Anything which repeats is a pattern. And it doesn't have to repeat exactly, but it has to be similar. So that's a pattern. Вода в горах абсолютно чистая. What's чистая in English, beginning with p? The water in the mountains is absolutely pure. When you say pure, try to get a lot of in the word pure. Pure. Lots of air. Pure. Pure. That will sound good. It's pure. What often comes after pure? Shall we have a look? We often talk about pure evil, pure joy. This ring is pure gold. Yes, well, it's pure speculation. When people are just giving their ideas about what happened. That's pure speculation. You have no evidence. Pure. Okay. And the noun, чистота воды, is purity. This device measures the purity of the water. Purity. Okay, next one. Союз. <laughs> you know this word. France is in the European Union. Francia входит в Европейский Союз. Union. Union. Uh, uh, Соединенного... Соединенные Королевства. I am from the United Kingdom. So the stress moves. Union, it's on the first syllable, but United, it's on the second syllable. Obviously football teams. Manchester United. Leeds United, Newcastle United, you know, ah. Sheffield United, 
I support the other Sheffield team. So Sheffield United, they are the enemy. They are our rivals. United. 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 Hold the nuh. United. If you want to sound more natural. United. Union. United. To unite people. We want to unite people. To bring them together. Abudinite. Okay, that is another set of ten. Um, so, if you like, you can practice these ten, or you can continue watching, and I'm going to talk about words 131 to 140. 131. Vidima, vicherinka uja nachalais. Vidima. Ah ah ah. Apparently, the party has already started. Так выглядит. So it's like appearance. Apparently. Apparently. Видимо, так выглядит. Выглядит как будто бы. Apparently. Apparently. People don't use this... Well, Russian speakers don't use this word very often, but it's a useful one. Well, apparently. Apparently. Okay, number 132. Мы не можем конкурировать с крупным бизнесом. Конкурировать. So the verb is we can't compete with big business. We can't compete. Don't say com. 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 Compete. Because the stress is on E. Compete. We can't compete. Не можем конкурировать. And if we're talking about конкуренция, then в нашем секторе существует большая конкуренция. There is a lot of Competition in our sector. Competition. Competition. T. Titian. Don't say tish. Say tish. Competition. More aspiration. T. Less. Uh. Competition. But compete and competition, they're not only about конкурентоспособности. Although here we do have this word. Business не конкурентоспособен. Our business is not competitive. Competitive. But competition, competitive, compete, it's not only about конкуренция. We also use it when we talk about соревнования. And I think that makes sense because what do businesses do? Если бизнес это конкуренция, если это люди это соревнования. But it's the same idea. It's a competition. Rivals, соперники, are fighting each other, or they're battling with each other, or they're competing with each other. Businesses compete, and boxers compete, and footballers compete, and athletes compete. Everybody competes because they want to get to the top. Compete, competition. So, соревнования, a competition. I have a competition next weekend. And Я люблю соревноваться. I love competing. And actually, it's interesting how my business is not competitive. I am not competitive. Here the meanings are different. My business is not competitive. Obviously, that's about concurrent способности. But I'm not competitive means I prefer... I don't compete. So, even if somebody wants to compete with me, I, I don't compete. You know, I, I don't care um, if somebody else wins, if somebody else is better than me, because life is not a competition. I am not competitive. When I was a child, I was very competitive. I made everything into a competition. <laughs> so competitive. I have two younger brothers and a younger sister, and we competed all the time. Everything was a competition. Eat your breakfast the fastest. I don't know. Um, uh, who can get in the car first? Everything was a competition. We were competitive. Uh, all right, 133. My My aunt lives in a pretty cottage. 
And I just want to tell you what, what comes to mind. When I think of a cottage, I think of a very old, usually at least 150 years old. Um, so it's a little building. It's 150 years old. It's made of stone. It has tiny windows. That, for me, is a cottage. And it's because many, many years ago, in villages, there were houses for the rich people, the landowners, and cottages for the workers. So the cottages were always smaller than the houses because the rich people lived in the houses, higher ceilings, bigger windows, cottages, smaller houses, um, smaller windows. So for me, like Russian cottage, cottage posyolok, and an English cottage feel like very different things. Okay. 134. Давайте украсим елку. What's украсит? Let's decorate the tree. To decorate. And the noun, if we're talking about decorating, is елочное украшение находится в этой коробке. The tree decorations are in this box. And there's one other useful translation of decorate. Cosmetichesky remont is to decorate. So we've decorated the living room. will be like мы провели cosmetichesky remont to decorate. Obviously, if it's more serious, I mean, decorate, it means wallpaper. Maybe you painted something, but nothing serious. That's also to decorate. Я живу на окраине города. I live on the edge of the city. We almost always use the edge. It's always the. And when we say the edge, the edge, we have the, not the, the front, the center, the, 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 but the edge, the edge. Because before vowels, we say the instead of the, the edge of the city. What else can you be on the edge of? Let's have a look. Oops, this won't work. The edge of, that's it with color cuts. Um, with colicus, the edge of, we'll have four after, now I don't know if, let's have edge of fine colicus, ah, the bed, he was sleeping on the edge of the bed. We live on the edge of the town. He fell off the edge of the world. <laughs> it's a funny phrase. The house is on the edge of a cliff. A cliff is a roof, usually above the sea. A cliff, the edge. So, the edge, important phrase. Изучение английского языка требует времени и усилий. Усилий. Learning English requires time and effort. How do we use this phrase? Usually, he made a big effort. Uh, and you can find, let's put, let's put this into here. Make a something effort. Ah. They made a concerted effort. They made a conscious effort. So a concerted effort is when you try for a period of time. Not just a little bit, but concerted over time or they made a conscious effort it means they really thought about what they was do what they were doing so they made a concerted effort they made a conscious effort 
So let's say to hide, they made a concerted effort to hide the truth. They made a conscious effort to hide the truth. They made a big effort. They made a real effort to make a mm, effort. Usually effort is singular. But you can also say his first effort was unsuccessful. His first five efforts were unsuccessful. So, исчисляемое effort is попытка, but неисчисляемое is усилий. 137. Она является одним из ведущих экспертов в своей области. How, will we, how can we say oblast? She is one of the leading experts in her field. So, the, the meaning of field that you almost certainly know is поле. В поле пасутся четыре лошади. There are four horses in the field. But field is not only for horses, it's also for academics. So, we work in the same field. А в одной области. 138. Кафе расположено на берегу реки. The cafe is located by the river. It's located. Try to make the A short because it comes before an unvoiced T. Not located, but located. We get a little pause. L located. Located. The stress comes from the pause and the aspiration, not the O. Located by the river. And the noun? Какого ваше местоположение? What is your location? Located, location. Мне нравится общаться. A verb which means общаться. A lot of people know the word communicating, but there's a nice verb. I like socializing. So, socializing, it's not just общаться, it's going into public places, communicating with different people. It's all about being sociable. And that очень общительная. She's very sociable. And actually, the opposite of sociable, you can say unsociable, but there's also, well, he's unsociable, full stop, he never talks to anybody. He's antisocial, full stop, he bothers people all the time. So to be unsociable just means, you know, you don't talk to anybody, you keep yourself to yourself. To be antisocial is to actually, yeah, мешаешь, короче, мешаешь. You make, like, making a lot of noise, uh, I don't know, making a lot of mess, dropping litter, all of that is antisocial because it bothers people. Unsociable is just about talking to people or not talking to people. All right, 140. Мне нужно немного скотча. Don't call it scotch. Oh, maybe Americans call it scotch, but in Britain, scotch is whiskey. So if you say, I need some scotch, это мне нужен виски. So be careful. Scotch. I need some tape to wrap these presents. So, scotch is tape. I mean, if you want to be very specific, you can say, where's the sticky tape? Because sticky is lipucci. Where's the tape? Where's the sticky tape? And instead of scotch, our brand is, where's the cellar tape? So, that's the brand name in England, cellar tape, and we often call it cellar tape, or just tape. All right. That is another set of 10. So, well done. You can practice the words or stay with me and listen to my explanation of the last group of 10 in today's lesson.
141. <laughs> it's a phrasal verb. We haven't had one of them for a long time. Anna and Sam расстались в прошлом месяце. Anna and Sam broke up last month. Did you know that broke up is not only about people? You can also say the iceberg broke up when it reached shallow water. So anything that breaks into small pieces can break up. And in fact, anything that turns or disintegrates into smaller pieces can be used with up. So, I tore up the newspaper into smaller pieces. The group split up. Rastalis. They were one, they became small pieces. Um, they smashed up the furniture. I don't know, the old furniture, they came and smashed it up. Up means into smaller pieces in this case. Cut up a tomato. The same idea, into small pieces. Chop up this firewood. Uh, so, up with a destructive verb, break, smash, cut, chop, means into small pieces. Okay, 142. Я поговорил с вождем племени. I spoke to the chief of the tribe. Now, the word chief... We don't use it very often as a noun. Usually we only use it as a noun to talk about tribes, you know, traditional societies. But as an adjective, you can find it a lot, usually in an abbreviated form. So, finance director is, she is our chief financial officer. So the abbreviation CFO is, a chief financial officer. CEO is a chief executive officer. So, chief, we often use as an adjective. Chief. And that's why in Russian you have the word chef. It comes from this English word chief. Chief. With a very short e, e before the unvoiced f. Chief. Chief. Eight, 143. On umir pri ochen zagadichnach obstayatilstvach. Important word. Often it's difficult to remember this one. He died in very mysterious circumstances. Circumstances. Obstayatilstvach. Let's have a look at what other adjectives often come before. Circumstances. Circumstances. In the south of England, circumstances. But I say stances. Under certain circumstances, this behaviour is acceptable. No, under no circumstances. Oops. Uh, yes, well, uh, we are in similar circumstances. Uh, if we're in the same boat, let's say. So, circumstances. Very important word. Он является действующим рекордсменом. Рекордсмен. I didn't know that Russian word. He is the current world record holder. So let's talk about the word current. Current is течение. The current is too strong for swimming. So, течение слишком сильное. You can't swim here. The current is too strong. That's the current as a noun. But current as an adjective means now. I, I'm sure it's connected with течение. То, что сейчас течет. Something like that. He is the current world record holder. 
And в настоящее время мы ищем нового менеджера по продажам. We are currently looking for a new sales manager. So this word current is, is used a lot, actually. Current. Let's see. Oh, not current JJ, sorry. Current nouns. Uh, the current state of our education system. It means the now state. So current is what is now. The current situation must be resolved. It's like the now situation. Who is the current president? The president now. Okay, next one. 145. Искусственный интеллект развивается очень быстро. Развивается. Artificial intelligence is developing very fast. It's developing, развивается. But in English, develop is not only развивается, it's also разработать, разрабатывать. Они разработали решение. They developed a solution. So there's develop something and there's something developed. And somebody who develops is a developer. So он разработчик программного обеспечения. Oops. My son is a software developer. Developer. Try to hold the v. Developer. Not the v, but developer. Lots of v, not too much e. Developer. Developer. And the noun, развитие детей. Она является экспертом в области развития детей. She is an expert in child development. Development. Again, the verb dev, dev, development. And R and D. R and D is short for research and development. And we spend a lot of money on research and development. So we research things and then we develop the ideas. We develop solutions. Number 146. Где находится запасной выход? Where is the emergency exit? Actually here, exit or exit? Exit, 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 exit. Do you know what? I, I use both. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? I, I honestly use both. So I suppose you can use both too. Exit, 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 exit. Uh, number 47. Я встречался с бывшим мэром. В этом смысле не про романтические встречи, наверное. Мне кажется, лучше здесь познакомился. I met the former mayor. So, бывший, you can say previous. You can also say ex. And you can say former. He is my ex-boyfriend. He's my former boyfriend. He's my previous boyfriend. But previous is a bit different. Previous is предыдущий. So maybe предыдущий и бывший isn't always the same. Because бывший может быть пред, пред, предыдущий, I guess. So previous is a bit different, but X and former are synonyms. X is less formal. Former is more formal. Uh, we also use former to talk about places, I think. Um, uh, this is my former home. 
the place I used to live. I think we do. Let's just check. I think most of these will be people. The former president, the former governor, the former director, the former chairman, the former mayor, the former Republican, former students. Yes, it's nearly all people, former members, former ambassador, former wife, former team, former slaves. Yes, people, basically, people. Uh, number 148. My родители очень щедрые. What's shedrier in English? My parents are very generous. Don't say generous. Generous. You don't need to pronounce the second syllable. Make it two syllables. Generous. 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 Lots of n. Gen. Generous. They're very generous. It was very generous of you. Generous. And the noun, Velika Dushia, Shedrist. I appreciate your generosity. So, generous, generosity, generosity. The stress moves. 149. We have put all our money in You know this word. We invested all our money in property. Did you hear the connected speech there? Sleep na rich. We invested. We invested. Why? Because invest begins with a vowel and the stress is on the second syllable. So in that case, you really must use connected speech. We invested all our money. Actually, it's we invest. Uh, Dollar money. Invest. We invested dollar. No gaps because it's vowel, vowel, vowel. We invested all our money in property. Okay, the last word, number 150. I was not. I was not involved. In the decision-making process. When you say involved, try to use dark l, 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 the l in the back of our throat. Involved, make it long, involved in the decision-making process. Involved. Involved is a strange word. Look at this. So what can we be involved in? For example, involved in politics. My friend is involved in politics. Of course, that means мой друг занимается политикой. Он же что-то делает. But this is a passive phrase because the active phrase is politics involves my friend. It's like the, the, the activity involves the actors, and that's why it's a strange construction. It's often difficult to translate, but we use it a lot to talk about activities and the things that go into those activities or the people who go into those activities. So if it's, if it's people, then, I don't know, um, he is involved in community service. It's just he takes part. Zanimaetsa, basically. She's involved in the music industry. She, she, she works, she's a participant in the music industry. But we also use involved to talk about small actions that go into a big action. So, a lot of training is involved in reaching the top. If you want to reach the top, you have to train a lot. So you have this big goal, and then a lot of training is involved in that goal. Reaching the top involves a lot of training. So involve, it's about activities and what goes into those activities. So in this sentence, we have crime. Crime is an activity. The police could not prove her involvement 
in the crime. So with any activity, you can talk about involvement, involvement, being involved. And that's all. We have done another 50 words together. Well done. Now, I hope you know by now that you can practice all of these words on hopkinsenglish.com. That's my website and in my app, Hopkins English. If you have bought the course, then you can practice. If you haven't bought the course yet, but you want to try it, then on my website, you can find the first lesson, um, which is available for free. Try all the tasks, see if you like them. If you do, you can buy access to all the tasks for all the lessons. All right, thank you for watching. I will be back soon with 50 more words. Bye.